good morning students in this video i'm going to talk i'm going to show you some pictures and i'm going to ask you some questions based on the pictures students okay students and you just keep observing the pictures on the screen and try to answer to the questions students observe the pictures displayed on the screen students and you have to answer to the questions that i ask you students students you can see the picture figure 5 uh, the man in the boat the man in the boat is moving with respect to the bank of river he is at rest with respect to the boat yes yes or no yes he is at rest with respect to the boat next and when do you say he is in motion and with respect to what with respect to what do you say the man is in motion with respect to its surroundings with respect to outside surroundings of the boat you can say the man is in motion observe the figure 6 now observe the figure 6 the girl on the swing is tell me the girl on the swing is in motion or at rest with respect to the seat of the swing what do you say the girl on the swing the girl on the swing is what is the position of the girl whether the girl is in motion or at rest with respect to the seat of the swing what do you say the girl is at rest with respect to the seat of the swing yes what do you say about the girl on the swing with respect to the garden obviously you can say the girl is in motion with respect to the garden but she is moving but she is moving to and fro motion she is moving in to and fro motion okay students next if you take another picture here figure 7 if you see the figure 7 the girl on the bicycle is the girl on the bicycle is what do you say at rest with respect to the road or in motion with respect to the road she is in motion with respect to the road and she is what do you say she is at rest with respect to the bicycle yes or no yes she is at rest with respect to the cycle itself okay next this is how you can understand what is motion and what is rest i think you got a clear cut information about what is rest and what is motion now let us see some other uh, information of the chapter that is the types of motions you know uh, uniform motion and non uniform motion now let us see what is uniform motion and what is non uniform motion yeah uniform motion and non uniform motion yeah you have to concentrate on this word students what is uniform uniform in the sense in equal format okay uniform in the sense it's in equal format okay it's in uniform and means it's in equal form okay students yeah uh, here the terms related to the motion uniform motion if an object is moving okay equal distances 
in equal time intervals then that object is said to be in uniform motion okay students if an object is moving yeah let me write the definition of what is uniform motion okay students let me write the definition of what is uniform motion if an object moves equal distances in equal time intervals so let me explain the statement students if an object moves equal distances in equal time intervals now let us concentrate on this statement students if an object moves equal distances in equal time intervals okay if an object is <coughs> let us take yeah here car car is in this position if the car moves uh, equal distances i said no uh yeah if the car moves uh 2 meters if the car moves 2 meters per second and again 2 meters per next second and again 2 meters per third second okay and again 2 meters per fourth second fourth second in the sense not in 4 seconds students in 1 second only okay <clears throat> the car is in motion actually if the car moves till here in 1 second this is the distance of the distance is 2 meters up to here and again from this point to here again <clears throat> 2 meters in 1 second from here to here and again here one second and again it moves 2 meters in one second from here to here and again it moves 2 meters in one second <coughs> students from here to here so the distance you know an object moves equal distances here 2 meters here 2 meters here 2 meters here 2 meters if it moves equal distances in equal time intervals time interval equal time and one second one second one second like this if you understand then the object is said to be in uniform motion okay students and in the next video i will teach you about what is non uniform motion i hope you understood after understanding this after you get understanding of what is uniform motion then you will easily get understanding of what is non uniform motion anyhow i will explain in the next video students this is for this video students thank you for listening thank you one and all